praise the Lord. The Lord is good. I'm happy to be with you again today. This is Save the World, an internet-based Christian ministry with a divine mandate to give sight to the blind and set the captives free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Save the World as a web present at www.christonline.info. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Nobi, and today I shall be examining a topic I called Jokers in the Christian Race. Jokers in the Christian Race. Who is a joker, you may ask? A joker is an unserious element in the Kadesika Fenu, and in fact, a clownish person. Jokers in the Christian Race are those who are practicing Christianity half Jokers in the Christian race are called Christians who erroneously believe they can walk into heaven without a fight from the enemy. I want to tell you today, I want you to know today that Christianity is not a tea party. The world we are living is a battleground witnessing a fierce battle, a fierce war between the forces of God and the forces of darkness for the souls of men. Christians are not supposed to be lukewarm on kingdom matters. The Bible says clearly that God is a warrior and all his sons and daughters are expected to put on the full armor and fight the Christian race with all their hearts, with all their mind, and with all their body. I'm taking my reference text from Matthew in name verse 12. It says that from the, from the days of John the Baptist and up to now, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. There are some categories of Christians that could be termed jokers, those who have refused to abide by this biblical injunction, those who have refused to take the kingdom of God by force. Those who do not seem to know their cunning and who do not seem to know that the enemy is mounting a strong resistance against their Christian race. Let us look at 10 categories of people who could be described as jokers in the Christian race. The first category of jokers in the Christian race are those who do not read the Bible often to know the mind of God. God expects us to read his word day and night. And if you are the type that do not read at least a chapter of the Bible in a week or a book of the Bible a month, you are not yet a serious Christian and you could be described as a joker. The second category of jokers in the Christian race are those whose prayer life is practically dead. Do you pray always as Abdonish in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 17? Or you barely spend between 5 and 10 minutes on a prayer altar on a daily or a weekly basis. Prayer is one of the greatest weapons of overcoming the plans of the enemy. And if you cannot devote quality time to pray daily, then you are still warming up as a Christian. The third category of jokers in the Christian race are those who are yet to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and who are not desirous of receiving it. The Spirit of God told me clearly some years ago that there is no problem that you cannot overcome by speaking in tongues for between one to three hours every day. A lot of problems we are facing as individuals could be resolved if you can speak in the Spirit, if you can pray in the Spirit for quality time on a daily basis. So if you have not yet learned the secret of fighting from heavens through the spirit, then you are still a joker in the sight of the enemy. The fourth category of jokers in the Christian race are those who hate fasting. It is common to hear some Christians say that they cannot fast, whereas Jesus was always fasting. So if you want to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, you must also be able to fast. Can you fast? Do you fast often? How many days do you fast in a month? Jesus Christ said clearly that you cannot overcome some peculiar and specific problems except by prayer and fasting. If you are the type that do not believe in fasting, or do not fast for even a day in a month, then you are still a great joke because you are not yet ready to carry the cross of Jesus. The fifth category of jokers in the Christian race are those who can be described as sleeping giants. 
those who sleep and snore all night and wake up in the morning to run around for opportunities that will have been opened for them if they have prayed all night. Do you stand up and pray for at least 30 minutes at night on a daily basis? Or at least twice or thrice a week? If you have not yet determined to carry the battle to the gates of the enemy at night, then you are another great joke in a Christian race. The Bible says that when men slept, the enemy came. Every day you refuse to pray at night, the enemy is visiting you, whether you like it or not, and doing a not of havoc to your destiny and to your glory. Wake up today and start to resist the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. The sixth category of jokers in the Christian race are those who are passionately serving God and passionately serving Satan. If one of your neck is with God, another neck is with Satan, then you are still a hood joke. Do you practice Christianity? outward name but practice idolatry secretly do you have another small god that you are serving in secret while you profess to be a christian do you still visit herbalists sorcerers false prophets fortune tellers enchanters diviners occultist powers while you profess to be a christian those involved in this are really the enemies of god and they are not really born again christians the seventh category of jokers in a christian race are those who don't really believe with all their hearts that there is a God in heaven. Do you really believe that there is a God and that Jesus Christ is not? Or you are one of those who are the slightest affliction, your faith in God shakes and you start to doubt the true existence of God. If you do not know whom you believe, you cannot claim to be a Christian. The eighth category of jokers in the Christian race are those who have not yet killed their flesh. Is your flesh dead? Do you have the fruits of the Spirit? If as you are listening to this message, someone gives you an unprovoked dirty snap, will you simply walk away or return it with another dirty snap? If you have not learned how to hand over your battles to God, then you are still a suckling Christian. The ninth category of jokers in the Christian race are those who are just following the multitude are you really a friend of god or simply you have joined the multitude to serve him do you really love god do you make him the first in everything do you join other believers to worship him or you are a known ranger are you excited to visit his sanctuary how many songs of praises and worship have you sung to him today do you fear god do you still argue over payment of tithes and offerings do you find it difficult to be a blessing to others with gifts and offerings are you self-centered are you always thinking of yourself or you are thinking of how you can help the next fortunate those are questions you need to answer to know whether you're a joker or you're a serious christian the tenth and last category of jokers in the christian race are those whose names are yet to be recorded in heavens having brought in any new convert are you a church goer or a soul winner are you passionate about winning souls a heartbeat of God lies in soul winning. So if you don't have a record of winning a single soul in a year, then you're a passive member of the North Army. Today, you must become passionate about soul winning. Then God will take you serious. God also has prayer points. And the prayer points of God is that we should win souls for him. As long as you make yourself an instrument and a vessel of answering the prayer points of God, then all your prayer points will be automatically answered by God. Even as I round up this message today, I want you to assert yourself and rate yourself. Are you still a joke in a Christian race or are you a Christian joker? Ask yourself how you can grow and develop as a Christian. What do you need to do to make yourself a friend of God? Today, you need to repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and pray for grace to fight the Christian race with all your might and strength and art. Let me pray with you. As many that want to receive Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, as many that want to move from the level of jokers to the level of serious Christians, please put your right hand on your heart and let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I commit these ones to you. I pray you shall give them a new spirit, the spirit of holiness, the spirit of righteousness. I pray down the presence of God over their lives. I pray down 
the Spirit of God over their lives. From today, they shall love you with all their heart, with all their mind, with all their strength. I cast out every spirit of error in their hearts. By the blood of the Lamb, I cleanse every iniquity in their minds, in their body, in their soul. I pray that you shall accept them as your sons. Thank you, Father, because you are Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Even as I round up this message, I pray for you that the fresh fire of God shall fall upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Today, receive the spirit to be mad for God in Jesus' mighty name. The spirit of only madness, the spirit of only madness shall consume you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of revival fall upon you in Jesus' mighty name. I speak Speak to your spiritual battery, be recharged now, be recharged now, be recharged now, be recharged now, be recharged now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every arrow of spiritual weakness that the enemy has fired against your heart, I fire back, 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 I fire back in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive a new heart, receive a new spirit, receive a new mind in the name of Jesus Christ. It is written in that day the yoke shall be broken. And the body shall be lifted away. Every yoke of failure, of stagnancy over your life, every yoke of disappointment over your life, I command it to break in the name of Jesus Christ. Every body over your head, every evil note that the enemy has put over your head, I command it to be uplifted, be uplifted, be uplifted. Be lifted up, be lifted up, be lifted up, be lifted up in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you in Jesus' mighty name. Save the world is an internet based Christian ministry with a divine money to give sight to the blind and set the captives free in Jesus' mighty name. Visit our website at www.christonline.info. Christonline.info. For more information about how you can build your Christian faith, send us an email at info at christonline.info or call us on phone. Our phone number is 234-0835-897435. is the country code. Then the mobile number is 0835897435. You can call us for counseling prayers and if you also are led by the Spirit to support us, we'll be happy to have your phone call or to receive your email. My name is Baba Tokwe Baba Nobi. God bless you. Amen.